Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Well, let's talk to you right now. How is okay. li- how how is life at home? I mean, what what what's <laughs> how you doing? Oh, I'm uh I'm on the road again. I I will have been on the road. You should ask my wife uh, how it is living with me cuz it's been I I think I've been on the road 17 of the last 19 days. Good grief. So, uh it's it's good because We've had the U.S. National Championships uh, that, that we were recruiting at. We had a big presence there, um, uh, and, and it looks like we've got a lot of great interest there. I'm uh, all across the country right now. Uh, I wish I had more sleep. I wish I had more time with my family, but I get really excited about, you know, um, sending a, spreading this Auburn message, and everybody wants to hear it right now. So, um uh, I'll take it. I'd rather be busy than not busy, obviously, because if I'm not busy, nobody wants to come here. <laughs> so what's what's the, I mean, what's life on the road like? Like, what's your routine? Do you have a? Is there a certain hotel you're always staying at the same one? Do you have oh. a ritual? <laughs> do you do you do room service? Do you you know your Netflix? No, no. no uh, I'll say the, the biggest ritual that I think all of us, uh, the, all three staff members who recruit, we're we're like right down to the wire. Like I, I'll fly into the city. I'll get into a city late tonight. Um, I'll drive across traffic for, for an 8 a.m. to noon practice tomorrow. And then my flight leaves at two to try to come back so I can get back here because our girls are reporting this weekend. And at the same time as when I get back, um, I'll, I'll get back Friday night, nine, ten thirty at night, something like that. And then uh, Kurt, my other assistant, he's gone. As soon as I get back on campus, he's gone. So it's it's like uh oh, that's the baton a lot. We're real quick, and uh, I, I'd say if you, not Netflix, it's probably uh, whatever's on on the, the back of the chair in front of me on the airplane, oh, yeah. and uh, probably a lot of those almond packets from uh, for, mm. for, for meals from Delta. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, the um, I mean, is there what about like a restaurant? If you're if you're out if you're out and about, if there's is there, I mean I don't know, you Chick Fil A oh, man, Wild or Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings. No, no, I, I I'll, I'll do a wing joint. I can I can do that. That uh, Buffalo Wild Wings or any anything along those lines, uh, I'm, I'm down with that. As long as I got a little bit of time, you can't get that on the road. So if it's on the road, then I probably got to do like a McDonald's or something. If you weren't if you weren't doing this, if it ended tomorrow, if everyone was like Jeff. Thanks. It's been real. <laughs> what would you, what would, what would be like the next direction? Is there something you kind of like, if I wasn't doing this, I'd be doing this because I know, I know well, you're, I, you're, a, you're a man of mystery. We, right. We have the former music right. career. You're like an ice boat racer, like a, I think a pirate up in the, you know, gr- great lakes somewhere. What, 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 what <laughs> yeah. that's the way it seems. Honestly, it was, it, that was the kind of the joke, like with rich, we'd be every, each time you'd come by, we'd find out some, something new. Um, so like right, oh, yeah, yeah. right now, like if there, if, if you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? You think? Well, I, well, I've always joked around and it's possibly partially true that, um, there's a, you know, down here, we don't have seven 11s like we did, like we did up North, but you know, I, I would be working at a seven 11 running the Slurpee machine or something like that. That's, huh. You know, that, that might, that might be a retirement dream job, but I also think maybe a food truck or something, maybe I could do something like that. That'd be cool. A food truck? Like, are you are you a foodie? Oh, uh, yeah. I used to work in a, in a... I was the head cook for years. And <laughs> that's how I got myself through some, some, of, some of my college days. <laughs> of course. Well, well, yes, I won Iron Chef 22. Uh, I don't know if you know. Oh, man. <laughs> no, I was, it was Aluminum Chef that I, that I worked on, yeah. <laughs> tell, tell me about Forest Lake. Oh, God, yes. Uh, Wad- uh, Wadena, it, Wa- Wadena, Forest Lake, yeah. uh, looking at Forest Lake area. What was Forest Lake area high? That's a mouthful. Forest Lake area high school. Yeah. Sheesh. What were y'all? Yeah, the, well, fi- the fighting, what snowmen? It was, it was the Rangers. The yeah, Rangers. And, okay. uh, yeah, I grew up uh, early on in my life. I was, uh, I was on a dairy farm in Northern Minnesota, which is, I was born in Wadena, which is, uh, one of the major cities around which it would have been as back then. I mean, it, it would make Auburn looks like a metropolis for Wadi compared to Wadena. But um, then I moved down to Forest Lake and that's where I went to high school. So uh. that that's where that all comes from. But yeah, I went to high school in Forest Lake. It's a suburb of Minneapolis, St. Paul. 
and uh, uh, you know it's, it was a big high school and I, I wrestled there and uh, did club gymnastics there and you know played tennis and all kinds of stuff a lot of a lot of stuff people don't realize that I did I wasn't I wasn't only a gymnast I was a little bit of everything what was the first band you ever saw ZZ top uh, yeah. on the legs tour oh where was that yeah. <laughs> oh it was at the civic center in st paul minnesota so was, i think i was 17 and we carpooled down there in my dad's van but a bunch of buddies and i now when did you start playing bass uh we i we our biggest run i mean i, I played all the way into college but uh in college was our first really good band that we got together okay. And I was probably the worst guitar player in the band, so nobody wanted to play bass. So they just made me play bass. Did you have a so nickname? That was about ninety-two. <laughs> oh, I like guess for me personally, no. Maybe, maybe just a short guy or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now, was your brother in the band? Yeah, I was. Uh, as a bass player and background vocals, he was rhythm guitarist and lead singer oh. because we wrote most of the. Uh, melody, most of uh, wrote the lyrics and, you know, some helped some on uh, some of the guitar solo stuff, that type of stuff. But, you know, we did, a, we did probably 60% of it. It was an all originals band. So we didn't do much for cover tunes. We did all our own stuff. All right. You got to, what are some lyrics? I know you remember some, I know there's a tune that runs through your head every, you know, fourth, <laughs> no, no. fourth shower. There's gotta be something. No, 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 no. But uh, I will say, our, one of our claims to fame was that uh, my brother actually uh, sang Talk Dirty to Me with C.C. DeVille uh, when he what? came on his tour through. So, Wait, so, your, your claim to fame is that the twin brother sang along with C.C. Yeah. DeVille? Like, did y'all well, open? The only, it, yeah, yeah, well, we were up there, but I didn't sing the lead part. I mean, I... It, I, I sang the background part. That's not much for a claim to fame. But the, the claim to fame is that the lead singer was my brother instead of Brett Michaels. That's that's what was so cool about it. Wait, 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 wait. So he got you mean for an entire show? Like he filled in for Brett Michaels? For for a song. For a song. He, he filled up. He, yeah, for a song. Did yeah. y'all open up for Poison or something? No, no, no. We were we were there, and uh, you know, when 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 bands come through towns. They, all the opening bands, a lot of them are local bands. Right. So everybody's a friend of everybody. So if, if it's a good band and people want to play on stage, everybody passes the word, hey, be here, be backstage, do this. So it, that was that, that was what was going on. Ah, okay. I got you. All right. Well, so what was the uh, what was your best show? Do you remember? Uh, yeah, we were we were really good a couple of nights. We we played what's called the Mirage. I don't even know if it's around anymore. But uh, we, we did a couple of Battle of the Bands, and I think we took second in that battle to, at the time, they were called the Nixon Pupils, but I think they turned into the Nixons. So they, <laughs> one, it was one or the other. Now what, and uh, they actually went on to have a pretty good, uh, a couple of good songs. Well, now, what was your, now, what was the band name again? Well, that, that particular band was called Malone. Mal- oh, there's more. Multiple bands? Well, there was other bands, but that's... That, that, that was the only good one. So I mean, there was two good ones, but they were both the same name. We just had a different guitarist and drummer. And this is like this is in the early '90s. Yeah, I'm looking up here. I'm looking at the Nixon pupils, <laughs> David Schultz. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who they were. They just beat us. I didn't go oh, interview myself oh, after oh, they. <laughs> oh, oh, they're from oh they're from Minot. Oh, oh yeah. boy, why not Minot? The reasons because it's freezing. <laughs> Um, yeah, there, there you go. <laughs> the state tree is a telephone pole. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, so there was Malone, and then what was another band name? Malone. That's such a great name for a band. Oh yeah. Well, and and that was that was the main one. I mean, all the other ones we were just using for a couple of shows. So, and I heck, you. we used some stupid names too. So, I got you. I'm not sure you want to you want to advertise some of the stupid ones we have oh boy what, <laughs> now what now see this isn't the radio anymore right we can say anything on here yeah yeah exactly L- <laughs> so like, you can go ahead and edit it the grabe grabbers uh grab uh, yeah. something like that yeah, that was a hor- that was a horrible that we don't need to go down that road <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> grab uh, and grabe is what you call grab, it. right